Multiple myeloma is an exciting field, so there are so many novel agents, new proteasome inhibitors, new inmates, new antibodies especially. So we have so many options now to treat these patients. And until more recently, the stem cell transplantation, the autologous stem cell transplantation is the standard care of patients, especially for the younger ones. It means less than 65 or less than 60 years of age. So, but independently of these new drugs, and they are coming up several studies now, is that still uh, autologous stem cell transplantation remains the option number one for those patients who are young with multiple myeloma. And the numbers within EBMT are steadily increasing. So nowadays there are about 8,000 transplants per year in Europe performed for multiple myeloma patients. However, the field is improving because it's not to use or not use a novel agent. It is now we combine it. So we use a very effective three or even four combination drug for induction chemotherapy, followed then by stem cell transplantation autologous. And then don't stop the treatment, continue with, for instance, consolidation, short course of consolidation, even with the novel agents, and then followed by some maintenance therapy uh, after the consolidation therapy. And all in order to get a very deep remission, we call it complete remission or even a molecular remission. Because those patients who achieve this molecular remission, they have a good chance for a very long term survival and long-term progression-free survival. At this meeting, so we had several educationals and several uh, uh, new developments, but the major focus was what is the role of consolidation, for instance, nowadays? What is the role of maintenance therapy? How can we integrate the novel agents into the transplant concept? But all the lectures were based on the transplant. So the transplant is still the, the backbone of the treatment in younger patients with multiple myeloma. We presented also some data showing EBMT data that for even for elderly patients, because the median age in myeloma patients is about 70 years, even patients with 70 and even more than 70 years of age, they can benefit from an autologous transplant as well as the younger ones do.